So, technically, the mechanical part of the engine is completely done. Everything else is going to be done in wire. So, before we move on, I'm just going to, for reference, color the piston that is at bottom dead center, where the, um, basically when in the engine is in this stage, it's going to be the one where the rope is at its longest length. As you can see, the one that I've colored green has the longest rope so far. So, now, download the expression, or if you want, I will display it uh, here in, right now, copy it, done. I'm going to place that on the middle of the crankshaft. Freeze it, make away 50,000, no collide it, go out, or unfading door the uh, engine block, want to center axis from the expression to, to the body of the engine. So now there's both an axis and a weld, or there's an axis on the expression chip and on the crankshaft, just for stability. We want to get out the GPS tool. And it doesn't matter what model, what size you pick. We want that somewhere directly above the expression. It can't be off to the side or anything, but it can be as far deep or out as you want it to be. Um, doesn't matter, just as long as it is directly in line with the expression chip, because that's how it reads angles. Um, and then we get out our advanced wire tool, or you could use wire. I've never used multi-wire. I use wire advanced. It's just nicer. So we wire GPS vector from the expression to chip to vector vector on the um, GPS chip. Okay, so your GPS is now wired to the um, expression. We open up the engine again, and now the piston that you colored green is going to be T1 in the expression. So we wire that to T1. The piston right behind it is going to be T2. And going over to the other side, uh, this piston is going to be T3, and this piston is T4. Very simple. So, now everything is done. All we need to do is a, imp or give the engine an input. So, the way I've written the expression, it takes two inputs, um, an on value, which tells the engine to be on or off, and then a throttle value, which tells the engine how powerful to be. So we want for the on-off value in numpad input, a button would work, I suppose, or a um, um, any any kind of on-off input. So numpad input, I'm going to set to five. Non-toggled value one on, and value off at zero. So I just place that. For the throttle, I'm using an advanced input. Increase plus, decrease minus, whatever you want to be on the numpad. Non-toggled, minimum of 5, maximum of 100, start at 5, and change per second 50. That's just what I use. You can use whatever you want. So, we wire on from the expression using our advanced wire tool to numpad input and throttle to the advanced input. Okay. Before you unfreeze the engine, right now would be the prime, prime time to dupe the engine. Duplicate it. You can use advanced duplicator, though I don't recommend it. Um, or you could use the preferred TB's duplicator. TB's duplicator saves everything pretty much perfectly almost all the time. The only thing it has trouble with is um, if you parented stuff, which that's another tutorial. Um, if you parented stuff with certain parenters, I guess it doesn't work with that, but TB's duplicator is a good choice for engines. Um, so, now that you have duped it, or maybe you haven't, we want to get out our weight tool, and since everything weighs 50,000 right now, the max Gmod weight, uh, we need to take that down because engines can't weigh 50,000 each part, unless you're Timbits. Um, so, we want to make the pistons weigh 25 would be an acceptable weight for the pistons. You can go lower. I've gotten it down to 10. I guess it works at 10. But 25 is a good overall weight. Um, the crankshaft, uh, 125. I typically make it weigh 
the cumulative weight of all the pistons that are connected to it, then plus one piston. So since the pistons weigh 25 and we have four of them, 25 times four is 100, plus another piston is 125. Um, oh, the um, expression still weighs 50,000, so we just want to make that 25. You could weigh it 10, just anything better than the default one will do. Um, and then the entire, or the rest of the uh, engine block should weigh uh, 300 would be a good weight. So now that the engine is completely weighted, we can unfreeze everything. Now you'll notice when you're unfreezing everything, the pistons jump into place. That is because the um, ropes are rigid. If they don't jump into place and they fall down into the engine, your ropes were not rigid or you've done something else wrong, I suggest you just go back and re redo the tutorial. So once it's all unfrozen, you can see the engine is very stable. I mean, it can be thrown around as much as you want and it shouldn't spaz all too much. And it works. So, this has been Mr. White's first tutorial, my long-awaited tutorial on Gmod engines. So, um, happy building!